Hi friends, I hope you're having an inspiring day. So we are doing a Boohoo haul today and I am so, so excited. I got so many pieces that I'm really excited about. A big thank you to my friends at Boohoo for partnering with me on this video. I have loved their brand since the very first haul that I've done from them and so many of the pieces that I got from Boohoo in the past have been some of my staples in my closet. If you remember this like palish green slip dress with like a low back, I literally wear that all the time and in so many outfit videos and it's from Boohoo. Holla to my Canadian girls. Boohoo actually has Paybrite, which is an amazing service that allows you to split up your payment into four separate payments. It has no interest when you pay it on time based on your payment schedule. And I think that's just a really great option to have if you need it. And I know it's something that us Canadian gals think about all the time and so many of you guys have asked me about, Boohoo actually covers all duties, which I think is incredible, just because you never know with so many of these brands online what the duty cost is going to be, and they cover that, and it's showcased on their site, which I think is amazing and shows a little Canadian appreciation. Anyhow, I'm so excited to show you guys these pieces, so let us get right into this Boohoo ha. Huh. All right, let's start with bottoms. I picked up a bunch of things that honestly, you guys know I'm having like a sort of basics vibe. I like a good, like cool basic. And one of the things that I didn't have in my closet was like, a lot of basic skirts. So I picked up this beige one here. You guys know I'm a huge fan of this taupey beige. It's got this beautiful wrap detail here, zipper on the side. But other than that, it's a really simple classic skirt, which I think will pair really nicely with t-shirt with a blouse just kind of covers all the bases this skirt here it was thirty dollars all right here is that wrap skirt on so so cute i love the fact that it's got this little bow detail on the side as well as this asymmetric sort of flap here i feel like it gives a otherwise really basic skirt a little bit more excitement i don't think i would wear it with another sort of tie up top at the top here i feel like the double bow is really distracting but such a cute piece i feel like it's really wearable again and I feel like the way I'd wear this is kind of with just like a t-shirt tucked in or a really basic crop top on the top for spring and fits really well, very comfortable. Another thing that's really notable is that it is a mini skirt, but it's not super mini where I feel like my butt is gonna fall out. So that is another big one. I feel like I am not a fan of the super mini mini skirt and this one isn't that definitely true to size and such a cute piece to kind of just throw on with a t-shirt and go. Next up, nothing says spring like a denim skirt. This is one of my favorite shades of denim, this sort of light blue faded wash. And I have quite a few denim skirts, but surprisingly a lot of them have a lot of details to them that are really distracting. And I wanted something that was gonna be really classic and kind of basic. I really like the little details on the skirt that make it that basic look. It's got no design on the back pocket, which I think gives a really seamless look. And on the front here, nothing except for the little pockets. It does, however, have like a little bit of a distressed frayed hem at the bottom, but again, really subtle. So makes it really a basic that you could kind of wear with anything. And this skirt here was $25. Here is the denim skirt on. Fits perfectly like a denim skirt should. I love the high-waisted action of it that's something to note pockets perfect back pockets perfect and the other thing to note is that the length on this is so great again mini skirt but don't feel like it's so mini that my bum's gonna fall out this one here is the light blue but i think that they also have a black as well as a white as well as a darker denim blue and just a really great basic skirt i would say that the denim is a little bit of a thinner denim so it's definitely great for the summertime won't sweat in it hopefully i mean we're all sweating in the summer, but just a really cute basic piece that kind of goes with everything t-shirt wrap tops tab tops all things Last up in bottoms you guys probably won't be surprised by this because everybody is wearing a slash buying a slash living in them but I got a pair of these really comfy black jogger pants something that I really like about these joggers is that it's actually quite a comfortable thinner material so it's got that stretch it's still like that really comfy cotton but it's not fleece so it's not going to make you overheat I love the look of a thick fleecy jogger but it's just not comfortable I find it 
just like a little bit too warm unless we're in the dead of winter. Maybe I'm just not afraid of cold because I'm Canadian, but I don't know. I personally like thinner joggers like this. This one has two pockets as well on the side, which I love. Scrunched elastic top here. And these joggers here were $32. All right, here are the joggers on and I will say that I expected them to be a little bit wider a little bit more loose But they're actually a little bit tighter, which I don't mind I feel like it makes it a really comfy but a little bit more tailored look So I sized appropriately to my size which is a size 4 for these but honestly if I could go back I think I might size up and then it would give it a little bit more of a slouchy look just as I expected It does have that extra length there that gives it this really cute little ruched look at the bottom there and the pockets are definitely a really welcomed addition and this is just a good piece that I'm gonna like wear around the house and kind of lounge in but if I needed to run out and do groceries I feel like we'd look all right all right moving along to tops this top here is actually from boohoo and part of this haul I just couldn't wait to put it on it's so cute white tie-up blouse that's a little bit cropped so cute for the spring and you guys know my love for tie-up tops I think tie-up tops wrap tops wrap dresses tie dresses I just find them really really flattering on pretty much every figure and you know your girl is a creature of habit so I picked up the exact same top in a black as well just because I feel like this is one of those tops that I wear with pretty much anything you can dress it up with like a satin skirt or a flared or a pleated skirt dress it down with a pair of joggers even or a pair of jeans or a denim skirt and it kind of just goes with everything it's one of those basics that match pretty much all and these front tie-up tops are $32. Here is the black version of the white tie-up top on and love this top so much. I love the white version. I love the black version. I feel like this is such a versatile piece to kind of wear with everything. A little hack for you guys is that you tie in and around your bra if you are wearing a bra to kind of hide it. Maybe I'll do a video specifically on how I wear my tie up top so that you don't see your bra underneath, but this is just such a cute top, so comfortable. I will say that I feel like the shoulders are a little bit smaller than I expected, so perhaps size up if um, you're looking to pick one of these up. It's fine and I don't feel like it's uncomfortable or anything, but I feel like with additional material, if I had sized up, I'd have a little bit more of a billowing action, but still very cute so happy about this top and definitely gonna be wearing it a lot next up I got this really cute cropped ribbed tank top here uh, this is actually one of those pieces that I feel like I wear more than I show you guys just because I feel like it's so versatile with joggers with jeans they're kind of like a throw on and go a great layering piece as well especially if you're wearing it underneath a blazer or like a suit set i feel like they do so much heavy lifting in your wardrobe and just don't get the love that it needs because it's obviously a really basic looking piece but i really like this one because it's ribbed so it's got a little bit of texture to it obviously this square neck and like skinny spaghetti strap look is really in right now that 90s vibe and this piece here was 18 dollars. here is that black tube tank Kini on and I am so in love honestly I know it seems really simple but I feel like tops like this you might feel like you have in your closet but then you go to your closet and realize you don't because it's such a basic simple item but makes such a big difference so simple but paired together with like even just a denim skirt I feel like is such a look in terms of the make really happy with the structure of this top it's got a little bit of a hem here so it kind of holds up at the top part of your uh, bust area straps here don't have an adjustable strap but i'm not too worried about that because i wouldn't probably lower it any lower than this the bottom here is actually really comfortable there is no hem so it kind of just falls but it is a stretchy material so it's gonna hug to your body really well they have a bunch of different colors in this top too but i'm not quite sure about the lighter colors and how see-through it'll be the black one definitely isn't see-through i don't feel like there's any sheerness to it any sheerness because of fabric stretching if you know what I mean like when it gets metallic -y and you can kind of see through it because it's cheney none of that going on and just such a comfortable very cute and trendy and affordable top that can kind of go with anything this dress pants I feel like 
it's a must have. Another basic I feel like goes unnoticed and doesn't get the love that it deserves is a white cropped t-shirt like this that's sleeveless. I feel like this look with like an open cowl neck is just so nice because again, it kind of goes with everything. It can be worn as a layering piece on its own with joggers, you look really cool, or like underneath even like a suit uh, or a blazer. It just does a lot of heavy lifting and is one of those pieces in my closet that I always go to pair up something really extravagant and then wish that I had something basic like this to go underneath. So got this piece here and I can already feel that the fabric is so comfortable. And this crop top here was $15. Here is that wider cut crop white top on and I actually really like that it's got this square neckline. I feel like that's a really nice subtle touch. But other than that, just a really great basic that you can kind of just throw on and go. I have it layered on top of a sports bra right now, but obviously you wear it with a new bra I'd probably suggest that I think a black bra you'd see through um, but just a cute piece to use and layer up or even just like this I feel like this is such a cute basic look as well but really works Working for the basics. The basics be working. So as we move into the spring summer seasons you'll see me pick up a lot more crop tops. I feel like I'm a big fan of crop tops, maybe because I wear a lot of high-waisted clothing, so for me it works really well for my wardrobe, but I did pick up something that wasn't a crop top, and it's this beautiful ribbed high neck, almost turtleneck style t-shirt top. They actually have this in multiple different colors. I picked up one for now just because I kind of wanted to see how it was going to look like, but I love the look of a longer t-shirt style sleeve. I love the look of a higher neck. I feel like it's really sophisticated. Again, a great layering and wearable sort of basic that goes with everything. And this piece here was $20. Here is that ribbed t-shirt on, and I feel like a couple of those subtle things really make a really big difference. For example, the turtleneck, higher neckline, I feel like gives it a little bit more of a sophisticated look. The longer sleeves on the arms there, again, elevate it from being just a simple t-shirt. The ripped texture as well is so comfortable. It is a little bit more sheer, so you're gonna wanna wear a nude or a white bra underneath it. And in terms of the length here, I'll show you guys, it is not a super long top, but I find that that's actually helpful, especially if you're tucking it into something that's high-waisted or tight at the bottom. It's a good length where it hits about your hip, but not too much longer than that. And just a really cute basic for the spring. Like I said, I'm really into these basic styles right now and feel like this top will get a lot of wear. Next up is sweaters and I picked up a item that I know is not very exciting but it's one that I have been missing in my closet because I have a black, white, and red version but I do not have a classic gray oversized hoodie and I just feel like this looks so cute if you haven't seen any of my hoodie style videos or hoodie outfit compilation videos, I feel like hoodies are really versatile and great for that casual night out or casual walk or obviously just like lounging around the house. This one here I'm feeling really good about. There's a couple things that I look for in hoodies. One of them is the bottom of the hoodie, so how scrunched up it is. I don't like hoodies to make me look like a balloon. Second thing is the length and I'm feeling really good about that as well. The other thing is pockets. I typically like my hoodies to have pockets. This one here has a kangaroo version. This one here is actually fleecy on the inside, so really cozy for those colder summer nights or colder spring evenings. And this piece here was $32. Here is that sweater on and it is such a perfect style like boyfriend sweater, a little bit slouchier. The sleeves are a perfect length. There's a ton of room for ruching and scrunching. The pocket here is, again, so great. Other than that, it's a really basic hoodie, but again, the things that I look for are how long it is, if this banding here is going to be too tight, which it isn't. I feel like it's just the right amount of tightness so that it doesn't make me look like a balloon, but then also can be used to kind of scrunch up the hoodie and wear kind of like this. And and such a cute casual look really into it and again needed a gray one in my closet and it has arrived
And very last but not least is dresses. Boohoo has so many cute spring dresses. To be honest, I had to hold back a little bit. Maybe I'll leave some extra links in the description box below of dresses that I have my eyes on but didn't pick up during this haul because Honestly, I haven't been able to wear a ton of my cute spring dresses, so I didn't pick up a ton during this particular haul, but I am tempted. That said, I did pick up a couple spring dresses, but for a very particular reason, it is because I'm afraid it is going to sell out. And it is my favorite. You guys who are inspired OG fam will know this dress. This very slinky, satiny, pale low back satin dress this is by far one of the most worn pieces in my closet so much so that i actually ripped one of the uh shoulder straps here uh in my trip in mexico and i haven't been able to fix it yet it is by far one of the sexiest simplest but most beautiful dresses that you will own in your closet and obviously you guys know my love for satin dresses I've talked about it a ton done a ton of outfit compilations but this midi dress is one of my absolute favorites in my closet I always gravitate to it because I feel so good in it and it's just it's just the best dress and I'm really afraid that it's gonna sell out on Boohoo or they're gonna eventually retire it so I picked up a new one this dress here is $50 Okay, if you're new to my channel, you may not have seen this dress before, but if you aren't new to my channel, you will have seen this dress so much because I wear it all the time and it's one of my favorite dresses. Here is the satin. This one is like a sea foamy green style slip dress on. It's got those two slits on the side here for movement. They don't go up too high that you feel really exposed, but they're high enough that you've got a little bit more movement because this is a little bit more of a midi dress. But the coup de tas of this dress is the back. It's got this gorgeous drapey satin cowl neck sort of draping here as well as the crisscross detail of the back straps and it is just so sexy so effortless i always get asked where this dress is from because it just makes anybody feel and look really sexy and beautiful and like i said <laughs> I actually still have this dress. I just wanted a second one because I didn't want it to go out of stock and not be able to have it anymore. And if that ever happens and I no longer have the dress for whatever reason, I feel like I would bring it to a seamstress and be like, can you make me this exact dress? Because this is one of my favorite dresses. So comfortable, not see-through at all, and just feel like a goddess in it. It's one of my favorite dresses, if you can tell. And I may or may not have also picked it up in a swanky new color. This aqua is really new for me. I originally wanted the black one, but unfortunately it was out of stock. So I picked up a color that's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. I feel like it'll add a little pop to my otherwise very neutral closet. And again, this one here, same cut and everything, is $50. Has a beautiful slit on the sides here for movement and again that low back that oh, we love here is the dress in the green color and like i said i don't think i have a lot of things in this sort of turquoisey color i will however say that it makes you feel and look really tanned but again i love the cut of this dress so i feel like i would like it in just about any color if there's any way to petition boohoo to make this dress in multiple different colors Honestly, I would buy every single one because it is so cute and so beautiful. I just feel so pretty in it. And honestly, this color, I'm not hating it. It's not a color I gravitate to naturally, but I feel like it's really cute for the summer and spring seasons. And feeling very sexy. And that is it for my Boohoo haul. I want to mention that a lot of the prices that I told you guys are the original prices, but you want to watch out for Boohoo because they have a ton of flash sales. I think right now as I'm filming this video, they're having a 60% off site-wide sale. So definitely check it out. I'm not sure if it's going to be the case when I'm posting this video, but if you're watching this, Make sure you click on the links and check out what the sale is right now because the, a lot of the items that I told you guys about and told you prices for are likely going to be cheaper than the price that I told you. And their pieces are already really affordable, so honestly, mom.com.
Anyhow, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big inspired thumbs up. Comment below, let me know your favorite pieces as always, and if there's any other brand that you guys want me to try. If you're new to the Inspired family, thank you so much for giving this video a watch. We hope you'll join us for a bit longer and subscribe. OG Inspired fam, I cannot believe we are almost at 30,000 strong here on YouTube. I am so grateful for every single one of you guys and I'm so honored every day when I wake up and see that more people have watched my videos or more people have subscribed. I just think in my head that these are real people on the other side of the camera and we're part of each other's lives and I think that that is so beautiful. Cheesy Mel coming in strong. But with that, I hope you guys have an inspiring rest of your day. Remember, kindness doesn't cost a thing. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.